asking. My name is Martin Casey, and I'm the proprietor here of the Harbour Bar and Downings, which I took over in 1980, and I've been here ever since. The bar, as we see it today, has evolved from being an old person's bar, really, into um, a combination of uh, a tourist bar, uh, sports bar. And throughout the winter time, people from Northern Ireland um, make their way down to Downings. Um, they arrive, they put on the heat and the lights in the houses and then they, their first um, port of call is, is a harbour bar for a few beers and a bit of interaction with the local people. And we also meet the bar staff that are all local and who can converse with them in Irish or in English and then they go home then they cook their tea and they do whatever they're going to do then for the weekend um, in the area, go walking, um, cycling, golfing and um, spend another evening possibly in the harbour the following evening or go to one of the restaurants and then they go back home on the Sunday evening again feeling that they've done something with themselves for the weekend. Initially when I took over the bar I, I was only quite young and um, I inherited a lot of elderly local men who were from mainly the, the Dewey region which is on the Atlantic Drive and m most of them were bachelors and um, it was an education for me to meet them and to interact with them and um, back in that period as well there weren't any taxis available so I was their mode of transport and they depended on me as well to take them home and take their groceries home and I feel that I was privileged having met them and got to know them and what they did in their life and uh, they unfortunately now they have all gone but they've been replaced by other people but who probably wouldn't have as interested in the background as what they had and um, I said, uh, I've always said that I've been very, very privileged to have met these, these wonderful uh, people. Well, Downings has a lot to offer uh, as, as, um, as a golfing destination. Rasapena has um, two championship golf courses and it's got an, also a nine. Um, and at the moment, they're in the process of building a third 18 hole. Uh, championship golf course which has been designed by Tom Doak and um, it attracts people from all over the world here to the to the Rasapena and because it's sandy uh, soil it's playable all the year round and it's a huge attraction when other parkland courses aren't playable because of the, the wet, wet winters we get here. Yeah, the, camp, the caravan site in Dunnies um, started, um, was, built, was built by my mother in late 40s, early 50s, and as a result of that there, it, it has grown and grown and grown, and she has since passed, but my brother runs the campsite now, and um, the rest of the village then evolved, developed and became what we see now uh, with two fine hotels and more campsites and people who are in the village are all within walking distance of everywhere they want to go, be it bars, restaurants. People gravitated from the caravans and they bought sites and they built houses and gave them a more permanent structure where they could come and visit throughout the winter as well. And but then you see their younger, the younger members of their family then taking over the caravans and so on and so forth and that's the way uh, the village has continued over the last 30 to 40, 50 years so as you see it the way it is today. When I took over the bar initially the, the, the salmon fishing, was, was very, seasonal fishing was, was very very big but that eventually dwindled down and now we only have crab fishing out of Downings where the McBride boys uh, fishing company are highly important to this area. We only have a couple of local little inshore boats that um, can only go out and then when the weather suits. Two to three hundred boats would have fished out of Downings at the height, fishing herring. Uh, as a result of where Downings is positioned, 
We are on the next peninsula over from Thanad and we have the world famous Thanad Lighthouse over there which we're connected to the Thanad Peninsula now by the Harry Blaney Bridge and on the west, on the west side of us we have um, Doe Castle which is only six or seven miles from Downings and um, then you go into Dunfanaghy, you can explore Horn Head you can explore then over by Falcaran, Maharorty, beautiful, beautiful part of the world. So, I, and then inland, then you have Glen Bay Castle and the gardens, and down is as a as a prime destination, which you can sort of source all these places at very, very quick, quickly. Uh, the Harbour Bar, um, as well as being my my source of income, has been my passion all my life, and. Um, it really, really makes me very, very happy when people return here on a yearly basis or even on a couple of yearly ba year basis and they can come in and identify with me. I might not always get their name right, but eventually we'll go back and we'll be able to relate to stories which were created here while on their first visit and they'll remember them probably quicker than I would and then we'll discuss them. And, and um, but as a result of, of, of uh, being in the bar and as a, having the passion for meeting people and interacting with people, um, I would say that the Harbour Bar has definitely created um, um, an area where people just want to keep on coming back to.